Look, before you ask, why are you reviewing garbage, Jeremy? You can review anything. Well, I was kind of on a Doom kick. Doom Eternal was amazing. I was like, I want more Doom. Worst case scenario, the movie's terrible, but I hear that experiencing the bad helps you appreciate the good. I ought to be pretty appreciative by now, Dad. Anyhow, here we go. Doom Annihilation. So Doom Annihilation in the vein of Mortal Kombat Annihilation is a very bad attempt at adapting a video game to the big screen or small screen. This didn't come out in theaters. I mean, we got a Doom movie before that didn't really feel like Doom and now we have a Doom movie again that doesn't really feel like Doom. What's so hard about Doom? It's weird. It's like, why is this unmakeable? Part of it probably has to do with the budget. All right, I'm gonna get, I'm jumping around too much. In Doom Annihilation, a group of Marines go to Phobos, one of the moons of Mars, because there's, there are experiments going on there and anyhow, it all goes bad and a gate opens up and now we have zombies. I really would have preferred that this was called that, you know, space zombies in space. Would have been more accurate and probably accurately cheesy to what the movie is, or I mean, it's on Mars, so instead of what, Day of the Dead, we'll call it Saul of the Dead. Whatever you want to call it, it's, it's space zombies. You have a whole crew of people you don't really care about. You waste a lot of setup time with this crew of people you don't care about, which I kind of get because you want to shoot out with a lot of guns and you want to see some carnage and people die. Okay. But I just quite simply feel like you could have had that without wasting my time. Instead of wasting an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes, however long it took to be like, oh, I think doom might start to happen now. Here's an intro you could have had for this movie. You could have had it happen before the titles even came up. You could have this movie start out how it actually initially does start out. Guy goes through a portal, then oh, he's like a zombie, and then just have a bunch of things start flooding through the portal and infecting people, people tearing each other up, and there is a group of space marines, and then they get into a crazy super zombie firefight, then they get wiped out in glory bloody fashion, then an imp pops up, and then just shoots a fireball at the last one, hits him, he falls down a chasm, boom, he's dead! Cut to title, Doom. Only he's not dead, he's the last one standing. Now he's gonna cut down all these demons, making his way, you know, to get home, or burn them down, or both. Or you could do what this movie does and waste an hour and 20 minutes with a crew we don't really care about because, <laughs> I don't know, attempt at Doom? Because when video game adaptations happen, annihilation in the subtitle is just not a good thing to have. And most of it is probably budget. I mean, you look at the array of demons that Doom has, whether it be the imps, which granted imps are actually in it. They shoot fireballs. I'll give credit conceptually. Conceptually, because the fireballs look like Adobe After Effects. It doesn't look good, but at least the imps did throw fireballs. Whether it be the Revenants, the Mancubi, Archvile, which yeah, they've been in Doom before Doom Eternal. They, I, I'm, my bad. After I got corrected, on that in the comment section. I was like, did they? And I'd look it up on YouTube and I was like, oh, that fucker, totally. Yeah, I blocked that out. Pain in the ass in any game. Cyber demons, point is there's a great array of doom demons, but they probably just didn't have the budget to make them in this movie, which right there, therein lies the lesson. Don't take on a doom movie unless you have the budget to make a doom movie. Cause what we actually end up getting in this movie is a bunch of zombies and a couple of imps. And that's it. And there was actually the biggest monster and probably the scariest monster in the entire thing too the script. Which is funny because in other movies you see the fingerprints of Doom and they're more Doom than the Doom movies we've actually gotten. It's like if you take the set design, creature design, and isolated feeling of Pandorum, not necessarily the group of Marines, but the onslaught of enemies from Aliens, the concept and some of the tone from Event Horizon, and that one man army action film feeling of any number of 80s action movies, you might just combine them all to make an effective Doom movie. Or we can just keep making garbage. There's that too. I mean, credit where credit's due for the last Doom movie, like the other Doom movie with The Rock and Carl Urban. I think Carl Urban would be an awesome Doom Slayer as seen from Dread. At least the other Doom movie had that first person segment, which I thought was gonna be the stupidest part of the movie when I saw it in one of the ads, but it actually turned out to be the coolest part of the movie. And it actually had one of the pinkies, which gives it one more demon than this movie has. It's like the callbacks in Doom Annihilation are just cheesy callbacks. I mean, Exploding Barrel, I like that. Chainsaw, cool. <laughs> This one dude in the firefight goes, I'm the ultra nightmare motherfucker. So I was like, okay. And why can't they ever get the BFG right in any Doom movie? In the Rock Doom movie, it's The Rock has this gun, it's the BFG and he shoots it and it's just kind of, it's like a plasma acid thing that burns away a wall. He's like, holy shit. I'm like saying holy shit doesn't make it a holy shit moment. Granted, I'm sure The Rock didn't even know what this was gonna look like. They were like, yeah, just shoot it. It'll be big. Just react like it's the biggest explosion ever. All right, let's just have it kind of make a, a plasma burn explosion 
really anticlimactic BFG thing. So this movie has the BFG and I'm like, all right, here's a mulligan for the BFG. They gotta get this right. And there's a hallway of three enemies. And I was like, all right, just shoot it down the hallway. They're all gonna explode. Nope, just to shoot them individually. It's like, boom, dead, boom, dead, boom, dead. I was like, so it's a plasma rifle. It's the plasma rifle. Why? Just make a BFG kind of like the nukes and Starship Troopers. Something that when you shoot that fucker off, you gotta take cover because it's business. I suggest anyone who makes a Doom movie should play a Doom video game. Though I'll give it this, like the key cards look like the key cards from the new Doom games and some of the sound effects, I was like, that's from the new Doom games. Like, yeah, you got the IP, so here's some sound effects that we have. So there you go, make a Doom movie. Make it good. Okay. Guess not. I kind of want to take it easy on this movie because it just feels like inexperience all around. Inexperience, lack of budget, both, all of the above. At the end, at the very end, it feels like, oh, it looks like Doom's finally about to happen. Not really, but finally, but hey, maybe a sequel, I doubt it. So I just walk away from it going, okay, could have been Doom, but it's a generic space zombie movie with a group of Marines I didn't care about. That's not what Doom is. In the end, this isn't a good movie. It's not even fun enough to be like, oh, but it was cheese. Cause I thought at first it was like, okay, maybe this is gonna be one of those cheesy fun action movies, but it's just boring. Doom Annihilation is dog shit. All right, so Doom Annihilation, have you seen it? What did you think about it? It's on Netflix right now. So you can watch it for free if you'd like, if you, if you want to. If you want to do that to yourself or you can play doom games probably a better option but whatever you think comment below let me know and as always if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more click right here to see more throughout this entire review my hair was just kind of doing this as i was like moving around it just kind of like does this it's like okay that's cool how's your day